Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So, today I figured I would catch y'all up on some of the baby stuff that we've gotten or that we've ordered or been sent to us, all the things, just preparing, can't even talk, preparing for baby. So we wanted to update y'all on what's been going on, all the stuff that we've gotten so far. The virtual baby shower is coming up very soon and I am super duper excited to sit down and film and open all of y'all's gifts. I am super excited because they are like flooding in and I have, it has taken everything within me not to open these boxes to look at the stuff because I want to be surprised on camera and actually get my genuine first reaction. So I have been, I have been waiting patiently, patiently, patiently waiting um, for the deadline because I did set a deadline and I wanted to wait for that deadline. But I'm going to show you a few things. We did get our car seat and stroller, which I'll show you a little bit later. Opa Baby did send it to us and I am over the moon excited and so blessed to be able to work with companies. Um, now that we're expecting Baby to be able to work with these baby brands is just blowing my mind. So I'm going to show you a few things that we've gotten um, so far, update you on some stuff, and um, yeah, nothing has changed in the nursery. We're kind of at a standstill. I told Cody I didn't want to put anything else in there until we shampoo the carpet. So, we have three rooms in our house that have carpet, and I want to shampoo them before I put in the crib and the chair and everything into the nursery. So we did order the chair for the nursery. It's probably the most expensive piece of anything that's going in the nursery. Um, but we wanted a really good quality chair and we did get 20% off. We had 20% off coupon, which is easy to find. Um, but I will link it down below. Everything that I talk about in this video, I'll link it down below so y'all can easily find it and go ahead and shop for it if you want it. Um, I know a lot of you are also pregnant, which is really fun that we're able to be in this journey together. Still haven't ordered a crib. I had one picked out and I still have one picked out, but I have two different colors and I'm trying to figure out which stain I like better. So I'm on the fence and that's why I haven't ordered one yet, but she won't be sleeping in it for a while. I'm going to show you what she's actually going to be sleeping in. Um, so I'm not pressuring myself to have a crib, but I would like to have a room done that I could share <laughs> and do a whole video on. So that's like in the back of my head, like when, you know, you want to get that done. Um, <laughs> so there's that, but let me get up off this comfortable couch and go show you some new stuff. So this is what she'll be sleeping in. It will not be in here. It will actually be in our bedroom, but we put it together in our nursery because this was the emptiest place in the house to put it together. But it is the swiveling halo bassinet. And this was this was something that I really wanted because of the mesh open sides and I'm hoping we haven't even checked yet I'm just crossing my fingers that this sucker will fit next to my bed our bedroom is not all that big so we didn't want a pack and play or anything that was ridiculously huge because we don't have much extra space in our bedroom so I thought this would be our best bet hopefully it is like I said I'm hoping it fits in there it's a little bit heavy, so I'm not going to take it in there. I'm actually going to wait for Cody to do that. I could measure it <laughs> to make my life easier, but obviously I don't do that. But we're excited about using this. And the side bends down, so when you have it next to your side of the bed, you can easily just push this down and check on the baby or whatever you need to do. And there you go. So there's that. We have these right here. We have to put this camera up. And this is the little smart sock from Owlet. Actually, both of these from Owlet. Um, they did kindly send these over to us. I'm super, super, super excited about it. This right here 
was on my list and I was kind of debating on getting it or not because it's not the most cheapest thing in the world but it gives you peace of mind especially being a first time parent we'll be able to get some sleep and not constantly checking to see if baby is breathing or not um so this is going to be interesting to see how she likes this if we like it if we think it's a necessary thing or just kind of something that you don't need i'll keep you updated on that and um this is the camera that we're going to be using so we got to set all this up i'm not going to be able to give you a review on it just yet obviously because <laughs> we're not using it right now but i'll give you an update on how this goes so far just by reading the stuff it seems pretty neat um so i'm thinking we're going to like this this is something that i wanted i wanted this so bad i thought it was adorable we love white noise for ourselves um so i knew that i wanted to have a white noise machine for baby and i love this one because it has an app so you can um you can operate it off your phone but i also love that it has like a wake up and then a go to sleep so you can choose the color that you want on your phone or you can actually there's like a little there's buttons on the bottom that you can use on there but you can probably it's probably a whole lot more easier to just operate it off your phone but you can pick a color and a certain sound and a time that you want the things to actually do the thing so like if you want your baby to know that okay it's time to start getting settled in for bed you can use a specific color and a specific noise and they'll kind of get in the grooves like a schedule um, and then you can also do a different color and noise to wake up in the morning, which I thought was just really neat and it'll help them get on a sleep schedule. But there's a bunch of different little cute noises and white noise and all kinds of stuff. Do y'all love Sissy's rug? Do you love it so much? <laughs> the closet's kind of a hot mess right now because we're just like pushing things in here. Um, that is the stroller and everything, which I'm going to show you putting together and all that stuff here shortly. There are a lot of bows on the way, so as soon as I get those, this will not be empty much longer. I think it's going to be super cute seeing all those bows hanging up on here. I'm trying to decide if I want to organize by color, by kind, I don't know. I'm being a little extra. Uh, <laughs> I did get some stuff from Ryan and Rose. I'm obsessed. I haven't taken anything out of the packs yet. How cute are those? They come out with this limited edition color. It was called Hazel. And I had to have it. I thought it was perfect. It's like the perfect pink brown. I love it. These are pretty neat too. These are called Cutie Tinsels. And they have like an opening at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell. But it's like round. And it makes it easy for the kid to learn how to feed themselves because you're able to collect the food in here a lot easier than with like a traditional fork so i thought those are really neat and i love that color but i got their little pacifier clips i got one in that hazel color and then one in this i think it was tan rush or something like that and i got one of their cutie pat pacifiers and then i also have some from bibs usa if you can't tell i love the natural neutral looking colors those are my favorite our collection of books is growing i love all of the colors i'm super excited about all the colors one of my favorite places to get them has been ollie's i don't know if you'll have an ollie's near you but their books are ridiculously cheap this one i think came from ollie's one two three count with me and it was only 2.99 which is a deal. That's a total steal, man. But this is the one I'm most excited about, which is kind of random. And I think I got this at Ross. This I got this before I was pregnant. I think I found this after our miscarriage. And I had got to the point that when I seen baby stuff, it would kind of make me sad. But when I seen this, something in me told me to get it and um, to still have faith. So I picked this book up and i'm so obsessed i cannot wait to read it it was only 3.99 at ross and it comes with a little cd not that we even have a cd player but it has a little cd but it's olaf's version of the night before christmas and i love olaf he is so freaking cute and i'm so excited to watch her watch frozen <laughs> um so i'm really excited to read that one to her and then just some other books we got like a 
the mother goose nursery rhymes that one's really neat i think that one came from sam's club though and just some other little books so here are some of her clothes we don't have many because i'm trying to be as minimal as possible i don't want to overdo it by no means but i do want her to be as cute as she can um obviously we have a thing for denim now i didn't buy both of these um her aunt cody's sister bought which one is she buy <laughs> i think she bought the smaller one so this one's a zero to three month and then this one's bigger i bought this one off of thread up and it is six to nine months which is way those sizes are way different but um she'll have a blue jean jacket for as long as she possibly can fit into this one um and we'll get to match because if y'all know me you know i love my blue jean jacket it's like my favorite accessory so she does have some like little jackets and stuff we're in the carolinas it don't get all that cold here but i did want to make sure that i had a few so this is like a little that one button little jacket it's so soft and it has a little hood how cute is that i found this dress on thread up it's from zara and i wish they had this in my size i love that i have found that zara and h&m baby are like my absolute favorite for baby clothes because they don't look like ridiculous colorful like baby clothes and they're not like so modern where it looks like the baby can't get them dirty it's like they're the perfect blend and they're not ridiculously expensive that's another thing these brands for baby clothes they have some of the cutest stuff but their stuff is crazy expensive and i'm not spending all of that on something they're not even gonna wear it that long but h&m is the cheaper of the two uh, and Zara's pretty normal with their sizing. They're not cheap, but I feel like H&M's kind of cheap. But you can look on ThreadUp and um, find a bunch of discounted stuff on there. So that's where I've gotten a bunch of the little clothes that I found. I got this on ThreadUp. I think it's from H&M. Once again, it's not going to get there. We might have one really cold day and I'm hoping she fits into this on that really cold day because it's so cute as a little tail and little ears on the hood. I just thought that was so cute. This is how I showed Cody that we were pregnant with these um, Carhartt overalls, but I found these Carhartt overalls on thread up. Carhartts are not cheap. I think I paid $30 for those and I think I got them for 14 on thread up. And they're stinking cute. Look at that little ruffle. So cute. We love we love our car hearts. That's one thing that we will put some money into because we can pass these down to another another baby. All of her clothes are brand new, so I'm gonna wash them. I'm only gonna wash certain size things and only a certain amount of things. I definitely don't wanna just wash it all just to go ahead and be done with it because what if she doesn't wear it and I could take it back? or it doesn't fit and all the things so i don't want to overdo it so nothing is really organized in here i mean it's organized by kind but not by size and i do want it to be organized by size so we do have a halo um sleep sack yeah the sleep sack hopefully she likes to be swaddled i don't know we're gonna see but this makes it a little easy because it has the velcro so if you don't know how to swaddle that's gonna make our life easier and then she has all of her like zipper sleepers, which is what I wanted was zipper sleepers that have like the feet already attached to them because I'm not trying to lose a bunch of little baby socks. And they say that the zippers are a whole lot easier for like late night changing and stuff. So she does have quite a bit of those in different sizes. Nothing is organized by size. So once I decide to go through and clean everything out, which I'm going to do a video on all that, then I'll organize everything and wash what I'm going to wash. Copper Pearl did send us some sets of stuff and i love this set i think this was the olive set i think um, but these are the bandana bibs and the burp cloths their stuff is incredibly soft i do now want to get bandana bibs with the snaps not the velcro because if you don't velcro it right it'll dig all in the back of their neck and that just does not sound like a fun time so there's these thought they were super cute all of the shea moisture baby stuff i'm obsessed with it it smells amazing i think i yeah tj maxx i seen these so i grabbed them hopefully we get the big containers if nobody buys us any i'm gonna buy all the big containers because it smells so good and i love shea moisture for myself so obviously why wouldn't i use it for baby and oh my gosh if y'all have not smelled this jesus 
Now I'm going to jump to footage from the other day of us opening our new car seat and stroller. I'm super duper excited about sharing this with y'all. Y'all, <laughs> I'm so excited. And I don't know if everybody gets excited about this kind of stuff, but our big baby purchases, I have been so excited and I've put a lot of thought and research and all the googling and all the youtubing i have done everything that i could think of to try to make sure that i pick the best possible big investment pieces because you definitely don't want to put a bunch of money into something that you have not looked into so um our stroller and car seats were something that i started looking at from the very 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 beginning before i ever even announced that i was pregnant like on social media one of the first things i was looking at was strollers and car seats we wanted something that was going to be super safe um we wanted something really nice we know that the kid you know grows out of a car seat pretty quickly but we wanted something that was going to be really safe for them very durable we're pretty neutral when it comes to colors i know some of you are just probably like mm, whatever we don't care but we wanted something that was going to be pretty neutral in case we did have babies that were close in age and we could have the possibility of using things multiple times especially when it came to the stroller situation which is why we went with the one that we went with but we knew that when it came time for a second baby we wanted them kind of close in age that's how we wanted to plan our family so we definitely needed something that was going to be able to grow with us and not have to down the road buy something else on top of what we already had and couldn't use it. So we wanted to be smart about our decision and that's when we decided to go with Upper Baby. They were so kind, so, so, so kind to send us these complimentary um, just to share here on my social media platform. So I am super duper duper excited. We were actually gonna purchase this. So don't even think that I'm just shouting them out because it was free because that is not the case. We were definitely, if you guys watched, um, it was a vlog where we went to Bye Bye Baby. Cody fell in love with the Upper Baby Vista. Absolutely in love with it. He was going to buy it on the spot and I said, let's wait. <laughs> we don't know, you know, like let's get a little bit further into the pregnancy before we jump in and make, you know, such a big purchase. And plus I didn't know what color I wanted yet. I'm that person. Um, but I'm super duper excited. I wanted to open them up here with y'all. Um, Cody is somewhere outside. He will come in and help open them up. I did not bring them in here. Cody brought them in here for me. So don't be worried about me carrying these boxes in here because they were kind of heavy. But I'm super, super, super excited about these. <sighs> Where's Cody? I'm ready to open this. <laughs> Gosh, I officially feel like a mama. This is so soft. So we decided to go with the Upper Baby Mesa for our car seat. And when I felt this in Bye Bye Baby, I loved how the inside felt. I had looked at a couple, every time I'd walk in Walmart, I'd walk over to the baby stuff. Every time I'd go to Target, I'd walk over to the baby stuff and I'm always touching. <laughs> touching and feeling, would I think this is comfortable? Obviously they're a teeny tiny baby and um, at first when they're you know born. So I wanted something that had the nice little insert but I also wanted it to feel cushiony as they got bigger. So I didn't want it to be like uncomfortable and a lot of the fabrics that I felt in a lot of car seats just were like really itchy. They weren't nicely padded like this one is. This one's super, super nice. I think this one's like nine pounds. We know a lot of people that speak highly of this car seat. Obviously it will attach to the stroller because it is from the same company but they do have adapters for other popular car seats so you don't have to use their car seat on their stroller so they do sell an adapter so don't fear if you want that stroller i'm more excited about opening this stroller than i am this car seat but i need to figure out how to get this thing off of <laughs> the base i probably need to read this to figure out how to get it off before i tear it up Let being a that serena with the baby no 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 <laughs> You are not gonna be dancing around like that with her in there. Why? Cause. And if you've never seen, we watched them on Facebook or I can't remember where we video. seen it. Uh, it was either a YouTube video or Facebook. 
Of course, this would be on the ground with the baby in it. But you loop your arm under and grab the side. And it's supposedly easier for you to it's carry it. It's supposed to be like easier that. to carry it instead of like that. like that. Or in the crease of your arm. Or in the crease or in the crease of your arm like that. So put it just like that. Let it rest. And I can see where that would definitely work. Stroller time. Stroller time. So this is what I was talking about. If you had a different kind of car seat from a different company, you would just put adapters on before you get to put your car seat on. What are these for? These are spring loaders, so they got to be for something. Oh, that's, that's what it the... was for. Let's not do that. <laughs> Why did you bring that all the way up? I was just moving it around. I mean, me and you are good right here, baby. Why? I mean, all the way down. We ain't got to do this. Why? Because we're little people. We're little people. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, little girl. And at this moment, she's probably looking at you like this you, dude. You foolish dog. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you, son. Boy, that looks sharp right there, son. <laughs> yeah. The almighty. No. No, um, no. I'm not going to do that, guys. <laughs> I'm just testing the... Testing the, Testing the waters without the bait. All right, guys. Yeah. Super easy. Super super. So if the baby's sleeping, yep. you're not shaking it up, moving it all around, and trying to figure out where it's supposed to go. You're in the way. And then that just folds up like that. Really easy. That bag's about to fall and scare lady. <laughs> where you want to put this, Mama? I'm not sure, Daddy. I guess in the nursery. For the car seat, one to 10, just based off of just, just playing with it and looking at it. We hadn't really installed it or nothing. What do you think? I would say 10. Yeah. Cause I mean, it was boxed up nice. Nothing was hard to put together. At all. At all. Come right out. You literally snap the wheels. They snap in place. They lock. So these buttons here, I don't know if you told them, but these right here, if you don't want the front wheels to spin like that, you push them down. It locks them in place. Um, it is very smooth. Yeah, those very wheels smooth. are... Very smooth. Now, we are on carpet. But even on... Well, yeah, of course, we hadn't pushed it on rock. Yeah, we haven't like pushed that. it on rock or outside in the dirt or anything like that. So we can't give you... As far as how well it's going to hold up, the wheels and mess will hold up. Push it on gravel, sand stuff like that we'll have to we'll have to do another video about a year after using it we can we can yeah, tell you if we still up, like it or not updated review but as far as the way everything snaps and disassembles and reassembles the little clips here you can set it one way or the other depending on your preference if you want the baby away what facing away from you towards you mm -hmm. which obviously you'd want the baby 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 look at you. you but Everything's very easy to use. You really don't even need the manual stuff to figure out how to use it. That's how user friendly it is. And if you're like me and you've been looking at YouTube videos, then it's super user friendly because you already knew what all the buttons really were for. Right out of the box, I would say a 10 for everything. And 
that may change depending once we start, once using, we start it. using it and, and we'll definitely keep y'all updated in vlogs so make sure you're subscribed so you can see us actually using this in our day to day when baby girl gets here. We what you think, Wozy? We's excited to use it. Well, y'all, that is it for all of the baby updates. Like I said, we still got a lot to do, I think. Like, I feel like I don't have a lot to do. Like, I feel like sometimes people just like overdo it and they're, I don't know, maybe not as minimal as I would like to be. I'm not trying to get a bunch of stuff. I don't want to be that person that buys all the things just to have all the things. I don't want to be that person, but I want to make sure that I get the stuff that I actually need and not wait until she's here and be on Amazon Prime every day trying to get stuff delivered in two days. I don't want to be that person. So tell me something down below or maybe like your top five things that you need immediately. What are those things? <laughs> so I need to make sure that I have those things and I am prepared. Or the things that I need to do. Maybe not necessarily things I need to buy, but things I need to have done before baby or in that immediate time span of baby being born. Y'all help a sister out. Make sure to leave those comments down below. I will see you in the next one. And I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye. Every time.